I think you mentioned the importance of set pieces for and against when you were talking to Mike. Very noticeable, the quality that we're getting now in the set pieces that we're taking in the final third. Well, yeah, it's the players obviously delivering. It's a commitment to get on the end of things. Um, and they were so vital in the Champions League. So never mind League Two uh, last season. Uh, and in World Cup football. So, uh, World Football. So they should, you should spend time on him. I went to a CPD day at St George's the other day, and I asked Gareth Southgate, "How long do you actually spend when he's, you know, we've got all these words now? Match day minus two means like I don't know, two days before game. Uh, FA obviously like these new new words, but uh, it's two days before game. I think that's, that's how I sort of." Uh, I don't know. I thought about it, but uh, I did ask him, and he, he did say the, the, the uh, they do tend to spend quite a bit of time, and he's been naming his team quite early to make sure that the players doing that, uh, you know, know who it is, and they can practice because he knows how vital they are in tight matches. So, you know, if if uh, if our national side are doing it, you know, why why can't we? And defensively, the two big lads we spoke about that before in the middle. They're working really well. Physical presence with Nick and Gethin as well. That defence is, is really doing its job with the rest on defensive set piece. It is, but we'll see when we've dealt with the silent assassin, Doyle. Yates is coming back, the big hero. And uh, Alan Hope, you know, he scored a lot of goals for Carlisle and he started scoring for Swindon. So I'll answer that question at five o'clock Saturday night. No secret, is it, the way Richie's got Swindon playing, get it to those very potent three front men and see what happens? Yeah, they're backed up though very well, honestly, the, the Grant and uh, Doherty, very good midfield players, left foot, uh, excellent, uh, always try to get on the ball, uh, and they've got a good balance between them, and of course they're backed up with uh, full backs, you know, a right footed left back, and uh, Caddis with his experience, and People would think, oh, we can get at him and run at him. You know, he's, he's getting old, and he don't work like that because he play with the brains. Uh, they use the bodies correct. They get help off the lines from the referees. They talk them in. They almost ref the games. Uh, young referees, they get sucked into the uh, the way they can go about that as well. They're very clever. So we'll, we have to be at our best to make sure we we can uh, compete. Uh, protect our point that we've been given before the game starts and turn it into three. And they are confident, but so are we. Yeah, but we have been, I think, in every game we've... I think it's been 15 games now, something like that. So I, I think we've been competitive in all, all of them, even even the ones when we've been beaten in the uh, uh, the three games that we, we were beaten in the league <clears throat> by the higher opposition. was We were still competitive in them games, but it, it comes at a break... A break point in it. It's at that point you either decide to fight or, you know, fall back. And in them opportunities that we had against them opponents, we didn't fight hard enough at the right time before it becomes too late to fight. So I want us obviously right at it on uh, Saturday. But there's no guarantees. But if they're not, if we're not like uh, we mentioned before, we've got opportunity to change it. And just finally on that, if. if these lads do fight if these lads do compete we've seen it the fans respond and they get right behind them oh yeah the fans have been absolutely brilliant and uh, you know fair play to them and they they, they just want to support that you know their team it's their team they want to support uh, hard work and we might not get what we want at the end of the day but if they recognise the fact that the boys are doing the best there's going to be mistakes made it's at that point they need a little bit extra support but you know I want to give them something to celebrate. You know, I I was a fan at Mansfield. I wasn't a manager. When that goal went in, the players were fans. We we're all fans. Uh, the equalising goal, the feeling that that was uh, excellent because it was a game we knew we didn't deserve to lose, and we should have been in really winning uh, before half time, and then to find ourselves with two goals down that that last goal, and the celebration to that was was fantastic, and the fans and. If you slow your video down, I think my son's actually uh, invading the pitch, so I hope, hope I don't get in trouble, but there we go. Thanks for your time.